This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. So some of you may have seen the much maligned, uh, heavily publicized mainstream press interview with uh, New Hampshire State Rep Susan DeLamas. It was from roughly mid-December. If the CPD criteria were used in the first Republican debate, you would have been the only candidate on state. Oh, where she seems to imply that Donald Trump is reading her mind. I watched the interview. I thought it was closer to being passionate than it was to being batshit. When I ambush interviewed her on January 7th about Trump, she sort of gets the last laugh because her position on Trump uh, winds up being vindicated a couple days later, at least based on Trump's position. Uh, I was questioning her about the Bureau of Land Management and its non-standoff standoff uh, out in Oregon. Actually, sorry, not not necessarily the BLM, but the, you know, just the feds in general. Anyway, right after I did this interview, I saw a post about, I guess, Donald Trump actually uh, raising concerns about the treatment of uh, the citizenry in Oregon by the federal government, uh, seeming to be more sympathetic to the rebels than uh, Obama. But anyway, let's let's hear what the questions and answers were before this post appeared. Oh, and by the way, some more background. Susan's husband, Jerry, was a fairly prominent figure in the Bundy Ranch standoff around 2013, and that's why I bring him up in the conversation. Representative DeLamus, yeah. there's a question for you. I can't remember what it is, but I know I have one for you. Oh, no. oh okay. With regard to Mr. Trump, I, you're a Trump supporter, right? Mm-hmm. One of the most well-known Trump supporters at this <laughs> point. Uh, but I'm wondering, you know, I followed Jerry pretty closely when he was out at the Bundy Ranch, and I keep finding myself wondering whether he'd even be alive right now if Donald Trump were president under under that situation. I wonder that, I, I worry that Donald Trump would be more likely to crack down, crack heads on a situation like that. Uh, than Obama was. I don't know about that. I, I think I disagree with you on that. Oh, I sure hope you're right. Yeah. I mean, right now, Jerry is um, really objecting to them doing what they're doing, what the fundies are In Oregon? In Oregon. Yeah. So he's, he has gone out, hopefully, to mediate and see if he can cool the situation and get people to go home and... You know, I think they've made their point, and it's trespassing, and it's federal property. So, and as far as um, what happened out in uh, at, with the Bundys in uh, Nevada, I believe, I would hope that uh, Mr. Trump would have listened to the complaints of the citizens and probably have backed the BLM down and not had that situation in the first place. I guess it's been done once. It can be done again. Well, hopefully, you know, we had constitutional sheriffs who, who were really true constitutionalists. They would have taken care of that situation and it never would have happened. Is he already out there? Is Jerry in Oregon right now? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, coming back on Monday. All right. It's just a, Yeah, it's not, it's not like he's gone back. He's gone out there with his truck and everything. Yeah. He's just, he flew out. Um, and he's actually got a gentleman named uh, Rue, Ruiz. Matt Ruiz. And he's a document, uh, documentary guy. He's got his, his cameras and everything. Is he, at that, is he at that federal building itself? I think he's probably going to speak to the guys. I don't okay. know if he's actually in that building. Oh, okay. I know he's, he's got a hotel that we booked in Burns. So he's not like staying over there or staying at night or anything or in camping in Oregon. He's, you know, just out there seeing what, what can be done, if anything. Okay. And he's also filming a documentary so that we can see what's what's going on and what, the, what, it, what all sides are. All right, good. Well, best wishes for safety and all that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye-bye. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com Driving in circles around Central Keen, I hurl both insults, angry and mean, against the activists from Free Keen, uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free, and even though they aren't hurting me, I will hate them hatefully. Urging their appearance in the penitentiary.
Although that expense would be charged to me, I'm starting to feel somewhat confusedly.